It's a race against time. All of the nation's presidential contenders gave their fullest in rallying or swaying the voters to their sides. Shin Se-min zooms in on the last spurt activities. While all the other candidates rushed to areas in Kangwonjo province hit by forest fires, some five hours drive away was Hong Junpyo of the Liberty Korea Party, who focused on uniting the conservative votes in the Yongnam region, the country's southeast. Hong had lawmakers from his party and his wife Lee Soon Sam visit the fire region on his behalf to lend a helping hand. Hong was on his home turf, rallying his conservative base one last time before the campaign period ends. Yu Sung Min of the Patent Party held a presser in Daegu, this after rescheduling his morning lineup to visit Gangneung, where he met with people affected by the forest fire. He began with a heartfelt message. Sincerity can work miracles. I promise I will keep my focus on the people and help shoulder the pain and the burden. Together, let's make a political revolution. With your full support, we can hit a home run and win this election. He also sent his best regards to all his supporters who've offered encouragement and donations, no matter the amount, and said he will make every one of those count should he win the race to the top office. Yu then headed out to the streets in Tegu to be greeted by supporters, young and old, who shook hands and took selfies with him. They remained confident in a victory on Tuesday. Knocking on the hearts of voters here in Tegu, his hometown, for one last time before the election on Tuesday, Yu again flies to be the strand of new hope for the people, new hope for the conservative, new hope for the Republic of Korea. Shim Sang-jung of the Justice Party, too, got back on the campaign trail after hurrying off to the fire-hit region in the early afternoon. Shim targeted the Chungcheongdo provinces and the capital Seoul, hoping to sway some undecided voters. With just one day left in the campaign, the contenders did all they could to reach voters enjoying their long holiday weekend. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.